Deborah Franzman, 2003. Brooke Watson, 1749. Randy Fry, 2004. Randy Fry, 2004. Terence Manuel, 1974. Peter Clarkson, 2011. Barry Wilson, 1952. Ian Redmond, 2011. David Peltier, 2001. Ten-year-old David Peltier was surfing at Sandbridge Beach when he was attacked in four feet of water on a sandbar. Peltier was with his dad and brothers when the shark attacked, leaving a 17-inch gash and severing an artery in his leg. Peltier's father hit the shark over the head and poked the shark's eye until it released his son. The child was rushed to the hospital but later died from his wounds. Shirley and Durden, 1985. Shirley and Durden, 1985. Sam Kellett, 2014. Sam Kellett, 2014. Rodney Fox, 1963. Rodney Fox has the best cocktail story ever after his shark attack. While competitively spearfishing in Australia, he suffered a vicious shark attack where a great white grabbed him by the torso and then charged him two more times, pulling him under and dragging him across the ocean floor. The bites punctured his diaphragm, scapula, and tore his lung. Tore his lung, guys, rescuers had to keep his wetsuit on to keep his organs from spilling out. The fact that Fox survived is a miracle. That, and he gouged out its eyes. Fox was 23. Fox became a leading authority on the Great White and designed the first shark observation cage. He was inducted into the International Scuba Diving Hall of Fame in 2007 because he deserved it. Robert Pamperin, 1959. Robert Pamperin and a friend were snorkeling off La Jolla Cove in California when he was attacked by a 22-foot great white. Gerald Lara heard Pamperin scream when he turned to see him unusually high in the water with his mask missing. Lara dug under to see that the shark had Pamperin in his mouth up to his waist. The shark pulled Pamperin under and dragged him along the seabed. By the time rescuers arrived, they only found Pamperin's single swim fin. USS Indianapolis, 1945. After an unescorted view, warship was torpedoed by the Japanese midway between the Lake Gulf and Guam. The ship was split in two, sending 900 sailors into the Pacific. Sharks chewed through nearly 600 men in five days. Survivor Woody James later recounted, the sharks were around hundreds of them. The USS Indianapolis deaths are among the worst shark attacks in history. Bethany Hamilton, 2003. 13-year-old Bethany Hamilton was surfing the tunnels off Kauai with her friend Alana Blanchard when a shark decided to change her life. While Hamilton was lying on her board with her arm dangling in the water, the shark bit into her and her board. The bite took her arm off just below the shoulder. Blanchard helped Hamilton back to shore where Blanchard's father made a tourniquet that saved her life. A 14-foot tiger shark, believed to be the shark that attacked Hamilton, was trapped by a local fisherman, Ralph Young. The shark weighed nearly 1,400 pounds. He's totally dead now. 
Hamilton went on to rank as one of the top 10 professional women surfers in the world. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then take care bye